this is a short tutorial on how to use Blender to create a simple uh, spaceship. This will be our first real tutorial in Blender. Uh, so I'll try to do a real basic job. Right now I'm using Blender 2.75, but um, should work with any version of Blender 2.7 or above. So this is a Blender uh, interaction screen. Um, and so we'll start with this main window, the 3D uh, view window. There's a camera here and a light source. We can basically ignore those. If they're getting in your way, you can turn them off. Um, there's a set of tools over here, and up here is a view bar and a properties area. Yeah, I'm going to look over here. Up here in the view area, uh, you can find the camera. This is the camera, and you can turn it off. You can also turn it so you can't select it. And same with the lamp, you can turn that off if you want. Uh, so if they just seem to get in the way, and I'm just going to turn them off so they don't pop up in this video. In Blender, we right-click on things to select things and left-click to move this 3D cursor around. You can switch that around. A lot of people are used to left-clicking to select things. So you can go into um, user preferences here and uh, here, user preferences and go under input and switch to select with left or right. Um, and then you'll select with the left mouse button um, if you want. So um, now we're going to work on our little spaceship. We're still in what is called object mode here, and so we can use these translate, rotate, and scale to move up this object. So we're going to start with this cube. And again, you can create other cubes and objects over here. Um, we could create a, a cylinder and work with that. I'm just going to delete that. We don't need that. Uh, and it, again, you could create a cube, but we already have a cube here by default, so we'll just use that. Um, we want to make it a little longer along here, so we're going to uh, try to expand it. Uh, under Again, back under Tools, we could translate it, but we want to scale it. If we just go to Scale normally, it just scales the whole cube. So we're going to hit Scale. <laughs> And then if we hit the z-axis, that's straight up and down. If it x-axis, that's this way. If it y-axis, you see these lines that'll pop up? It shows which way it's going to scale. So I'm just going to hit the y-axis and scale it that way a little bit. And then click, and then I've got this cube. Um, now, I forgot to show you how to navigate around this window. So to start with, you just push the middle mouse button, and you can rotate. So this is the middle mouse button. Uh, you can hold down control in the middle mouse button to zoom in and out and shift in the middle mouse button to pan uh, your view and so just the middle mouse button by itself will let us rotate things okay so you might want to practice that and so we've got this expanded we've scaled it a little bit along the y-axis um, now we're actually going to go to and edit this so there are two modes we use a lot and the two modes are selected down here. So the first is object mode and the other is edit mode. And we can go in there and edit mode, we can select individual faces and stuff. So you can go down here. You can also hit tab to switch between these two because they're so t common. So I'm going to uh, hit uh, go into edit mode here. Now in edit mode, there are three selection options here. On uh, First, we can just select vertices. These are the points on my figure that where these uh, polygons come together. There can also select edges, so I can select edges here, and I can select whole faces, so I can select all whole faces. Now when you're in object mode, you can only select the whole object. Uh, that's why we often have to go in edit mode so that we can do things like select whole faces. So I'm going to pull this face out, but um, I want to duplicate kind of. So we do something called an extrude. So over here, there's an extrude option, and we can choose extrude region. And the shortcut for that is E for extrude. So I'm going to hit E, and I'm going to pull it out. So it's about the same size width as the other object. So again, I'm in edit mode, and I've select faces. And the face I have selected is this one. Uh, and I'm going to do it again. I'm going to hit E or extrude region from, I'm under tools and uh, here 
I'm going to do region, and I'm going to, oops, going to pull this out, and as I move my mouse, it pulls out a set amount. I'm going to make that about the same. So now, let's look at this. I should have three my boxes basically the same all connected together so i have three faces in the front three faces at the and the top and bottom and this will uh, be the key part of my spaceship that i'm going to work with um now we've been working with faces let's work with edges a little bit so i'm going to switch back into edge mode and select this edge and I'm in translate mode by default, and I have this arrow key, and I can move this down. I want to have this kind of slanted to begin to shape the wing, so I can grab that one and that one and pull them both up, and I can go to the other side and do them all. I'm just going to undo that real quick and show you another way. So you can do them both like that, but I want the two sides to match. So I'm going to select this one side, and then I'm going to go to the other side, and holding down shift, select that other side. So now I have them both selected and I'm going to pull them both down together. Um, so again you can do them individually and just try and watch them and try to get them together but here I'm going to select this one I'm going to oops, switch the other side select this one so I've got them both selected and pull them both up at the same time. So both of these at bottom edges are selected. So I just try to get your figure to look something like that we go. So this tutorial actually comes from an old Maya tutorial uh, from a book uh, and it talks about the spaceship model that we're creating. So sometimes I'll just refer and show you this this uh, tutorial and how this posted online. So again we started here we created these three sections and then we kind of slanted the, uh, the, the middle sections in so we've got that done. Now we're going to take these faces on the end and we're going to divide them into three parts. So we have this small face, a, a, two, a top and bottom face, and the middle face. And we're going to take that middle face, extrude it out, and make wings. And we're going to do that to both sides and make them uh, as close as possible as we can. So that's our next uh, object. So I'm going to turn around and look at this face here. Uh, and select this face. I'm in vertex mode, so I'm going to switch back to face mode so I can select that face. Okay, I, I reselected this face, and now we're going to do an extrude and scale and then move this a little bit. Now, in sometimes um, in Blender, it's easy to do this with keys. So uh, the E key is for extrude, the S key is for scale, and I'm going to scale just in the Z direction. So I'm going to do the these keys. And again, Unity uh, uses it. So I could try to do them all over here. I could do an extrude and then scale and then hit the Z key. Or again, instead of hitting Z key, you can also try to constrain it only in the Z axis down here. So you can try to do this all without uh, um, keyboards, but it's a lot easier uh, because when you move the mouse around, it changes things. So I'm going to hit E, S, Z, and see the blue line there? That means I'm going to scale only along that section, and I'm going to move my cursor towards one of the directions until it divides my region into about thirds, and then click. So I've got this now region divided into three parts. I'm going to go to the other side and do the same thing to the other side of the thing. Now if I w was doing this more for real I would actually have selected both sides at the same time and done this. But let's just practice or do, do this again. So I'm going to hit, not touching the mouse, I'm going to hit E for extrude, S for scale, and Z for up and down. Now I have the blue line there. Now I can drag this in slowly and get this to about a third. Okay, so now I have these three regions. And if I zoom around, this side is in three regions also. So I've got both sides in three regions. And now I'm going to pull this out. Um, and make wings out of each one. So I can try to do, sometimes you can do both sides at the same time. So if I try to do that one and hold down shift and try to do this one, again, I want to select the middle area here 
uh, and I hit go to extrude or hit E and try to pull this out. Um, it's just, oops, I'm still in Z constraint. I'm going to hit Z out. So I can uh, try to pull this out, but it this doesn't work because it pulls out both in different directions. Uh, so I don't want to do that. Um, so I'm going to undo this. Uh, let's see where we're at. Okay, so I'm just going to grab this one face here and extrude this one face at a time. So hit E or again go extrude and pull this out about like that. And then I'm going to go to the other side and do it about the same. I'm going to watch it from above. So grab this face, this middle face. I'm going to again grab it from above so I can kind of see this. Hit E or choose extrude and pull that out so it's about the same. Okay, so now I have these two wings. I'm going to want them sloping backwards a little bit. Um, probably the easiest way is to grab this face and pull it back. I'm going to grab both faces at the same time and slide them back. So hold down shift. So I've got that face and that face grabbed. And I'm just going to slide them back. So I can slide them back in transform mode. Okay, so that's the first part of my spaceship. Now let's look at our tutorial here to see how we're doing. So we've divided the ends into three faces and we've extruded that middle face. We've pulled the, the middle wings uh, out and we've pulled them back. Now we pulled the whole wing back. When they did it, they just pulled this one surface back. Now you can do that. I like the look of this. Let me just show you how to do that. Uh, if we if we wanted to, uh, let me just undo this. Now we grabbed this face and pulled it back. You could also just grab this vertex uh, and pulled it back. So that gives you that approach. I actually like how it looks with the faces in the end. So I'm going to go back into face mode. Grab that face. Switch to this side. Grab that face like I did before, and just pull those back. Again, if you want your wings out a little bit more, um, you should be able to grab a face, this this face here. Uh, let's zoom out just a little bit and pull it out also. So you should be able to pull it out if you want your wing. If you think when you did this, you didn't make the wings the same or you didn't get them out quite enough, uh, you can try that. And again, we can always come back later to those. Okay, so let's look at our tutorial. Uh, so we pulled those out. Now we're going to do the same thing. Get uh, We're going to take this middle uh, section and divide it in three parts. And we're going to pull up and back a uh, uh, tail fin. So I'm going to go back in the blender. I'm going to go to this middle face. And again, I should be in face mode. Select that. And now I'm going to do this uh, e, for, let's try this one, e for extrude, then S for scale. And then Y, nope, try that again, control Z, let's do X, uh, there, that's the way we want. So I want to get this, so I have a thin tail section I can pull out. So that'll divide, now there are other ways to divide these sections into different parts. Uh, so that's one way to divide them in parts. Let's show uh, another way, I'm going to undo that. So let's say we have this section in parts. And we want to try another one. There's something called a uh, subdivide. So I can hit subdivide here. So I've got this face selected. And subdivide will divide it up into four parts, a line here and a line here. But I can also change this with this little control here. I can hit this arrow at the right side and go up to two. So now there's two cuts, uh, two cuts. So I can do that. Um, and then click to. Uh, confirm that. So now I've got this view here where I can select, uh, oops, don't move those, I can select these individual faces. Now with this I can actually just grab these two middle sections here, uh, oops, and hit shift. So now I've got these two middle sections here. Now I could, you could think maybe I could just drag these up, but that pulls everything else up. I want to actually extrude them and then uh, pull them up. So I'm going to hit E for extrude or select it from the menu and then pull these up to get my tail fin. Okay and then once I've clicked 
I should be able to switch back to transfer mode and slide it back. So that'll be my tail fin going back. So again, I'd select that face, went down here to subdivide. Uh, and once I select subdivide down here, you can switch the number of uh, lines or divisions to from one to two. And then that'll do two lines and two lines. And again, you could extrude and do the scale stuff. That works fine. But I kind of like this so that it starts the tail fin starts at the back a little bit. Okay. So we've added our tail oops, tail fin. Now we're going to select uh, the front faces on either side and make uh, little jet engines here, little areas. So we're going to click on them, bring them in a little bit, uh, kind of add a bevel or an edge to them and then grab this and extrude this inside so that let's see if we can see this in the end there's a little uh, alcove here and we'll make it a little bigger alcove than here so that later on we can put a particle effect to show fire in here um, okay so I've got the front of my spaceship here this is the front and I'm going to work with these two Faces. And this is one of those places where it doesn't work so well to do each one, do them together, unfortunately. So I'm going to select this one. I'm going to hit uh, extrude and then scale and then just move it in a little bit. See how I'm drawing those lines? There. So I've just um, created a smaller uh, face inside this other face, but it's still really flat there. So now I'm going to want that to go inside. I'm going to hit extrude again and pull it back inside. Always. So now I have an alcove where the jet engine will be. Pull that back a little bit more so we can stick a particle effect and have some fire in there. Okay. So same over here. Click that extrude, E for extrude, S for scale, and bring this in. Oops. About the same here. And then now we're going to pull it in. So let's turn this a little bit. I'm going to hit E for extrude again. Not out in. About the same amount. Okay, so now I have these two alcoves there for my jet. Next, we're going to uh, do the same thing for the back uh, of the jet engine. So I'm going to go to the tail here and select the middle face here and do the same thing extrude scale and drag it in just a little bit and extrude again and pull it in uh, so that'll that'll be uh, we'll have fire coming or flames coming or smoke at least coming out of there uh, for our jet engines so those are kind of our like now we're going to add a cockpit to the front here. Let's see what that's supposed to look like. Um, so again, I'm going to pull that front face out a little bit and out a little bit to get again, and then scale it down so I and slant it down some so it looks more like this. Whoops. So let's try that. So go back to the front of the ship. Again, middle mouse click to move around. Oops, I was at this for this. Okay, front of the ship. Click on this. And we're going to hit extrude and pull it out a little bit and hit extrude again and pull it out a lot more. Now, this one out here, we're going to hit scale to scale it down a little bit. Oops, not quite so much. And then in translate mode, I just want to slant that down, maybe out just a little bit. So that's the front of the spaceship there. Um, I actually like it when the when it goes down a little bit below the uh, main body. It'll look better there. So, okay, so that's our spaceship that we have. Now we're going to smooth this out, uh, but let's save this. So I'm going to go to File, Save. Um, here's my directory where I want to save things in and right now I'm saving it right into a unity folder a project folder and I always leave this it's in a unity project folder inside the assets folder and I'm gonna say that this is spaceship recorded uh, dot blender 
Oops, I missed a dot there. Okay, right, spaceship record dot blend. I'm gonna hit save over here, and it should save that file out there. Okay, so now I've saved that out in my a folder in and right now it's in a Unity project. Um, now the last thing we're going to do is do some smoothing with oops this. I'm going to switch shakes. Don't click on things. Go switch back to object mode here. So this is my whole object. Uh, this is my spaceship. Move it back to the middle here. Okay, there's my spaceship. Well, it's still really clunky, even uh, with uh, some nice shading on here. It still is really clunky. So we're going to go over here and add some smoothing. So let me see if I can pull this out a little bit. So these are a lot of tools and things like here I can add materials and uh, textures uh, to this. And eventually we'll do this when we uh, kind of paint on this. But I'm going to go to this one, which is the wrench-like thing, and that'll let me add modifiers. So I'm going to click on that. There's a bunch of modifiers. So often, like when we're uh, creating a person, we'll only create one side, and we'll add a mirror uh, operator to, to mirror them both sides. Uh, but So there's lots of different choices here. But Okay, I'm on the wrench. I've got my object selected. I'm going to do subdivision surfaces, subdivision surfaces, and that'll smooth things out. So it smoothed it out somewhat. Um, and by here, there's a mount I'm doing. So right now, a view is at one. I click on this arrow, it'll go up. And I can click on this arrow to go back. It's just kind of a little slider here. So I can go up to two or three. And you might want to do the render the same way. We won't be using the render, but I like uh, you can keep these. We'll mainly see the view one. So you notice now with three selected, this is broken up to lots and lots of um, smaller polygons here. Um, I'm going to go back to two. I think that's good enough. Uh, we don't want too many polygons. Uh, we just want this. I mean. Uh, the computer, when we bring them in the game world, has got to reflect light and do calculations off of every one of these little polygons. In fact, each polygon is going to be divided up often into two triangles, so there'll be even more little surfaces uh, that it has to work on. So, you don't want too many surfaces. Uh, so, I've got this. So, again, wrench, add modifier, and we went down to the subdivision surfaces. Did that one right there. And then we, this was at one, still better than zero. This was zero, remember. Here's one, two. So two is looking good. Now I'm going to save this again. Uh, hit save, save it out there. Now let's just do a quick look at this in Unity. So in Unity, uh, I've opened up this project I have. It's called Blender Test. And since I saved this model here, um, it shows up right in my project folder under assets. I've got a couple of spaceships here. Here's the spaceship record that we just did and it imported it and configured it in different ways. We won't go over that right now, but I can just drag that right into Unity and uh, I could add a color to it and there's my spaceship. Oh, I still have a coin here from another thing. Let's move that out of the way. Okay, so there's our spaceship in Unity ready to go.